brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. All right, everybody, welcome back to KUM News Extra. This is, of course, Healthy Living Tuesday. And as we do every Tuesday, our good friend Dr. Git Galam from Express Care joins us once again. Dr. Hoppaday, and welcome back. Good to see you again. Thank you. Nice to see you, too. Okay, so we continue with our cavalcade of rather uncomfortable subjects. Uh, <laughs> tonight, we are talking about something that definitely is uncomfortable and maybe, as with most of those kind of medical topics, misunderstood. We're talking about varicose veins and spider veins. Obviously, that's not the medical term and everything. So basically, what are they? Okay. Well, uh, varicose veins are those wormy, large, swollen blood vessels that you might see on people's lower extremities on their lower legs. Um, they look bluish. Sometimes they can almost look purplish. Um, those are the big, thick ones. And then the spider veins are the smaller, thinner red ones that you might see right on the surface of the skin. Um, uh, again, in the lower legs or on the thighs, usually. Mm -hmm. Now, typically, uh, varicose veins are more common in older people, not necessarily the elderly, but as people get, you know, on and on in life, they get that. Why is that? Is, is it just the body, you know, breaking down over time? Or? Well, it's kind of interesting. Um, your blood vessels are pretty amazing. You have the arteries that push the blood out all the way down to your tiniest pinky toe. Mm -hmm. And then the, the blood needs to get back to the heart. And that's your veins that bring the blood back. And veins are not just pipes. They have little tiny uh, valves so the the muscles of the legs will squeeze as you're walking and push the blood up a little bit till the valve closes and then up again till the next valve closes and up and up and up and up all the way through your lower extremities through your legs all the way up and um, as you get older those valves get a little weak or hereditary also hereditary factors can make those uh, valves quite weak so over the years as that column of blood has been pushing down on those valves they'll weaken and then the blood vessels will swell because the blood will be basically going down to your boots rather than up to your heart. In telecommunications parlance, we would actually call that a repeater. There you go. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> um, And they usually appear on the legs and you know, as you just said and everything, that's basically by virtue of gravity? Right? Yes, gravity okay. and also by lifestyle. So if you're somebody who walks a lot, you're always pushing your blood back up to your heart, great. If you're somebody who's sitting a lot, not moving your legs a lot, the blood will pool and uh, you'll have more difficulty with circulation that way. Mm -hmm. Is having varicose veins and getting them at a certain age and getting them to a greater degree, is this a hereditary thing or? It, it does run in families. So mm -hmm. people will say, particularly women will say, my mother had this. Um, but men can also get varicose veins and they're important to take care of because as the blood vessels pool, as the blood pools down lower in the lower extremities, the circulation is, 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 is not very good and you'll start to get skin breakdown, ulcers, uh, pain. Uh, varicose veins can be quite painful, mm -hmm. get, get achy, tired legs. Okay, and then um, depending on the severity of the varicose veins or spider veins, which I've just learned right now, yeah. um, they can be quite unsightly. They can be. Which again goes to the, the uncomfortable aspect and everything like that. So what treatment do you recommend for people? Well, for the spider veins, those are really cosmetic. That's just a, for the appearance. They can be lasered or they can uh, be injected with some medicine to make them um, go away. But for the larger wormy veins, those require surgery. There is laser surgery from the inside uh, where, there, where there's a laser threaded in to the vessel and then basically um, the laser will destroy it from the inside. Mm -hmm. But if they're very large, then you have to have what's called vein stripping, where they, the surgeon will clip one end and clip the other end, then pull it out like a little worm and um, get rid of your varicose vein that way. Wow. Yeah. And what's, what's a recovery time for something like that? Um, usually several weeks. Yeah. After, okay. after the surgery, people, um, will, they'll be able to walk around and so on, but they'll need to wear the support hose, stockings, and, and uh, wait for the bruising to go down. Okay. Well, obviously, we've got a lot more to cover on this, including our community questions. So sit tight, Dr. Weeb. We'll be right back. Okay. And you at home, stay tuned because we will be back with a good doctor who will talk about spider veins and varicose veins. Even saying it's kind of uncomfortable. When we return on Healthy Living Tuesday right here.